Hi everybody, welcome to our latest Maker Mindset video. This week we'll be using some felt, conductive thread, and a handful of other materials to make fun LED jewelry. So let's gather the materials listed on screen and let's get started. Now you're probably asking yourself how we can light up jewelry. This project uses stainless steel conductive thread, a coin battery, and a battery holder to build a simple embeddable circuit to power our LED. The first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is assemble a felt image or creation of your choice. I chose to make a shooting star. Your felt creation can be turned into a pin to wear, a bracelet if you have some Velcro laying around, or even a magnet for your refrigerator. It's totally up to you. Just keep in mind, your felt creation needs to be big enough to hold your coin battery pack and a spot for your LED. To make sure my shooting star is big enough, I give it a gray background piece. Next, let's move on to our LED. you notice my LED has two legs, one longer than the other. This long leg is the positive end of our LED and ultimately needs to be attached to the positive end of our battery pack. The same goes for the negative end of the LED and the negative end of the battery pack. To give you an example of how this works and also test our battery, slide the coin battery between the LED prongs, the plus side of the battery touches the longer leg, and the underside of the battery touches the shorter leg. Your LED should light up. Next, poke the legs of your LED through the front of your felt where you want it to show. Then, flip your felt over and the rest of the circuit's going to be built on the back. Once the legs are through, flatten them down and use your fingers or a pair of needle nose pliers to twist the longer leg into a loop. This way you won't get your positive and negative sides of your LED mixed up. Now to place our battery pack. Since we're only using one LED, we're using a single cell coin battery holder from Adafruit. The side that looks like a capital letter E is the positive end of the battery pack. Line that up with the positive end of your LED and just glue your battery pack to the felt. Next, we can start to sew our circuit with conductive thread. Think of this thread as the wire to your circuit, kind of like you would see in a lamp or a remote control. This will carry power from your battery to your LED. Starting with the positive end of our circuit, sew through the loop we made on the longer leg of the LED. I like to sew around it a couple of times to make sure that I made a really good connection. Now, using the same thread, stitch through the lead on the positive end of the battery pack. When you've sewn through the lead a few times, make sure the thread is secure, tie off your thread, cut it loose, and sew a separate path the exact same way for the negative end of your circuit. While sewing your circuit, it's important to make sure your positive and negative paths always stay separate. Trim any extra thread that may cause the positive and negative paths to cross and short circuit. Now all that's left to do is to place a coin battery into the battery holder and watch your creation come to life. Slide that coin battery, positive side up, under the part of the battery pack that looks like an E, and there you have it, an embeddable circuit. Lastly, be sure to attach a pin back or a key ring so that you can wear your creation with pride. Who would want to make something this cool and not be able to show it off? Hope you enjoyed making this today, everybody. See you next time.